man, you go crazy. So, so with y'all growing up, man, um, your mom had five kids total, right? No, six. Six. Uh, and you, you, I know you lost a brother. We talked about last week before. Yep. You lost a sister as well. Yeah, my sister Missy. Okay. Um, and every- that's Missy. Really, is they sister. Okay. But you know what I'm saying? On they daddy side, but okay. we grew up together calling each other brother and sisters and shit. Like all they family on they daddy side, he is my family. Right. Yeah. Right. So like all his brothers and sisters, them is my brothers and sisters and shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we lost our sister Missy. We lost Lowski. Then I lost my brother on my daddy side. That's it. Now now seeing y'all chemistry right here, you know, um, and knowing that y'all are blood, um, you know, if you didn't know, it'd be hard to guess that y'all grew up on a different side of the streets, right? Right. So can, now that we got both of y'all here on the couch, can y'all tell us, like, how did that occur with y'all growing up in the same household? You being big bro and you over here, you would think little bro go follow your footsteps, right? I mean, no, because he, he, he always had his own mind. Shit, he ain't never want to be like nobody else. You feel me? He wasn't following niggas around. People wanted to follow him around. Well, the little niggas wanted to follow him around and shit. Cause they like, man, let's go see what he on today type shit. Like, is he finna go steal a dog? Is he finna go, you know what I'm saying, do some crazy shit? Is they finna go jump somebody shit like that? You know what I'm saying? So it like, niggas, the little niggas used to want to be around them and shit. You know what I'm saying? And some niggas, he, he treated like goofy, you know? That's how it happened in the hood anyway, but like, that shit didn't matter. Like us growing up on two different sides, but it happened because I got booked in 2009. You know what I'm he was already doing this little thing as a kid anyway. He was already doing his own thing. But I got locked up and it was out of my control. Like I couldn't do shit. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't do nothing. I ain't had no control over none of that. He was already doing his own thing. He was already, he was 10 toes down already. It was over. Yeah. So instead of me trying to persuade him of some shit, shit, I was letting him do him. I'm just telling him like, you know what come with that shit? Cause he was still a shorty at the time. Right now he know everything that come with being in the street. But back then, you know, you 12 years old, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what come with this shit, you know what I'm saying? This niggas gonna be on you, you feel me? But I, I, I didn't expect him to get as big as he is right now, though. Yeah. I ain't expected. I... Wooska, they say you you used to be terrorizing the hood. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what's an example of some of the uh, terrorizing you was doing? Like what's a what's a, what's a wild day in the in the um, childhood life of Wooski? You outside, you done did what? What you done got into? Man, shit. You wanna tell them how you chase dude out of McDonald's? What's his name? Chase dude out of McDonald's. Out of McDonald's. Man, what happened, Wooski? <laughs> you had to get on his ass, or was it random? No. <laughs> You don't remember that? Man, dude ass, man. Right, but tell him that though. You ain't gotta say the nigga name, just tell him what ain't happened this shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, don't want to talk. Man, you know this nigga man. don't like talking. <laughs> but uh yeah, they say so they say you was terrorizing. Like we uh we interviewed O Block J Hood. He said he used to throw rocks at his windows. Uh he said it was one time you was actually throwing rocks at his window, begging him to come fight. Like you want to go stop doing the rocks till he came down and, and, and fought. It was some, some truth to that. I think I heard you say on one of your podcasts you fought Wooski when y'all was shorties. Yeah, yeah, we did. <laughs> how, how old was y'all when this happened? Um, Cause Wooski from the O2, ain't he? Originally, you know, he ain't gonna pick, he ain't gonna claim that. But nigga, that's where you from if you know. But you, you know, he from where he from. Where he want to say he from, yeah, that's right. where he from. But yeah, we, uh, I think, my nephew about to be 17. My nephew was just born probably like a, a week. Home, he just, you feel me? Okay. And the reason why we even fought, he's trying to get me to come out to fight him and shit, and he ain't know that my, like, he threw a ball up, and it was a screen. It was just a screen, it didn't hurt my nephew. It was just like, you know, a little screen, and it's, it's flimsy. But when he threw the ball looking for me, it hit the window and it fell on my nephew cradle. So my nephew being a baby game, me, I'm a, Really die for mine, like as a shorty, like I, I want to kill. Boy, I ran back outside so quick and beat Wooski ass boy on oh, my mama. I beat it. He wasn't no hoe at all. Well, he wasn't no hoe, but I had his ass in the head, like punching the shit out of his head. You I was said, we was shorties. You said he threw a ball. Yeah, he threw a ball at the house. He threw a ball at my window. All right. 
<laughs> you know we stay in apartments. Right, 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 right. This is in Parkway? Yeah, in Parkway. I don't know, right? On the 60th, yeah. Uh, he said I threw rocks at his window telling him to come fight. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he's talking about, though. I, 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 ain't, I, ain't, and I ain't never heard it myself, personally. His ass wasn't you know talking. What would you say he made it up? Yeah, his ass wasn't talking. His ass wasn't talking. Okay. I don't know nothing about that. F fair yeah. enough, fair enough. Uh, but, 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 but we are here to, you know, celebrate brotherhood, especially because, bro, we live in a city where, uh, you know, um, we lose our brothers, you know what I'm saying? Um, to the jail cells or to the, you know what I'm saying, graveyard. So wow. I did want to provide this platform for you all to exemplify your brotherly love, you know what I'm saying? Right. Not just for one another, but for the whole world to see. Especially when everybody in the comments saying, yo, you need Big Mike and Wooski on there right. at the same time. You feel me? Yeah, I'm looking for it. So um, another question I wanted to ask, though, you know, about, you know, y'all growing up was um, Wooski, your father died when you was young, mm -hmm. um, you know, Big Mike told us about it in, in, you know, a little bit in our interview. But like, how old were you when your father passed and how did that, how did that affect you growing up? Shit. Really, I ain't really understand that shit when I was a shorty, but growing up, I'd be thinking about that shit, that shit. Yeah, yeah that shit. Funny as hell, not. Yeah. Uh, growing up in the streets of Chicago, you know, we deal with a lot of different uh, traumatic type of events. You feel me? Um, these are the conditions that, you know, we were raised in, we were born in. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with, 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 with what you know now, Big Mike, after all the time, you know, you done did, uh, what you think is something we can do as young men to help create some type of change in our community? It's all about showing the younger generation something different. You feel me? Let them know it's something different out there and shit. Not just guns and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like we didn't, I, I look at it like this. We didn't did the shit already. So y'all the seen what we did. So y'all ain't got to do it because y'all see where it's going to lead you. That way it's going to either be dead or you're going to be in jail. What? I know you don't want neither one of those. You would rather be free. It's women out here. You can buy cars out here. You can get money out here, all of that. In them jail cells, you listen to what the guards say 24 hours a day. Hey, go lock up. You going to lock the fuck up. Do you want to hear that every fucking day, all day? You only can come out at certain times to use the phone to call your people. Sometimes they lock that motherfucker down. Now you in there mad. You steaming. You boiling. You like, what the fuck? I can't even call my people and shit like that. So it's like, just a constant. Then you in the cell with another nigga. Like, you in the cell with another nigga. You got to take a piss. He's right there. You take a shit. He's right there. If you want to take what they call a hoe bath, what we call it a jail, a bird bath, he's right there. So everything you do revolves around another nigga. Like, that's what you, you want to do. Then be my guest. Go ahead. But I advise a motherfucker not to. And then in the streets, the streets turn your heart cold, bro. Like, you get used to the killings. Like, is your homie die? Yeah, you gonna be hurt, but you so used to it, it's like, get over that shit quick, bro. Like a lot of niggas, you know, I hear them shouting their homies out in their songs and shit, but after a while, you don't hear it no more. It's over with. You know what I'm saying? It's a wrap. They didn't already then. I guess they didn't, you know, healed already, I guess, whatever they wanna call it, but that's the type of shit niggas wanna keep on going through and shit. Like a motherfucker already in it. You know what I'm saying? And the motherfuckers who's not in it, you got a chance to stay the f out of it. So stay the f out of it. Because this ain't what you're looking for. DJ, you go crazy. <laughs>